Yo guys, how's it going? Mad Gaz here. And for this Zombies video, we are back on the Giant Easter Egg hunting once again because I believe that the Giant holds a lot more Easter Eggs than we actually have found. Now I know a lot of you guys are just going to go hate in the comments and say there is no more Easter Eggs on the Giant. The coding has been decrypted. There is nothing more to this map. Well, this is where I believe you're wrong. And one of my friends, one of my YouTube friends, Codename Pizza, he also believes that you guys are wrong as well. We believe there is an Easter egg on this map that has yet to be found. And he did a lot of research and found this cool Easter egg that I'm about to show you guys. And what he believes that this Easter egg can achieve is a way to upgrade the Annihilator, the secret gun we get when doing the fly trap. Now, he sent me some information over on Twitter and I booted up my Xbox and went in to try and achieve a few of these steps myself just so I can check it out. Just to be, not kind of debunk things, but to be on his side and pretty much say that this is a working type Easter egg. It's not a glitch because it happens every time. A glitch would be something that only happened like an occurrence of a few times, but this kind of thing, what we're going to achieve, happens every time you try it. So, let's just get straight into this. So first things first, you're going to need to complete the fly trap easter egg, which we all know how to do by getting a pack a punch gun and shooting at the control panel outside the map and then going around shooting the three teddy bears around the map to open up the furnace which gives you the annihilator. And once you have acquired the annihilator, my friend Codename Pizza, I'll leave a link in the description to his channel below, but what had happened was he had tried this technique to kind of upgrade the Annihilator before the latest patch and it didn't work. Now with the latest patch, something is actually happening. So I'm going to try and talk through exactly what goes on and how we believe we can upgrade the Annihilator. Right, so first things first, you can see on screen I have a Pack-a-Punch weapon and I have the alternative ammo type, the Turned which turns the zombies against themselves. Now this is essential to this. This is what we believe could hold a key to upgrading the Annihilator. Kind of like what they're on Shadows of Evil with the little Arnies. When you throw a little Arnie down, you've got to get a certain amount of kills. We believe that the turned zombie has got to achieve a certain amount of kills for things to happen. Now you're probably wondering why the Annihilator. This has got nothing to do with the Annihilator. Oh yes it does. So what you're going to want to do is use your gun with your turned attachment on, shoot one of the zombies, shoot their heads off and hopefully they will turn and this is essential. The zombie without the head is going to be doing the work for us. Then switch to the annihilator and shoot that zombie. And as you can see, the zombie starts to run around firing sparks. Now this is where we believe that you've got to use the spark zombie to achieve a certain amount of kills. Now we're not entirely sure how many kills or exactly if this is a legit way, but Codename Pizza, he tried this before the latest patch and it didn't work. Nothing happened. The zombies were just running around headless and nothing really changed. But now with the new patch, when you shoot the headless turn zombie with the Annihilator, they fire off a lot of sparks. Now, what could this mean? This has got to be some sort of relation to the update and some sort of Easter egg they may have possibly added into the giant. So I'll try it again just to show you it's not just a glitch. It didn't just glitch this the first time get lucky. I'm chasing after this turn zombie there and eventually we'll shoot him. And he starts to spark. He starts to spark but obviously the round's over so there's no zombies for him to kill. So what the hell does this mean? Why is that guy sparking? Why did it only work with the Annihilator after the new patch? Now I know there'll be a lot of you guys in the comments and all the other YouTubers who will not believe this and will want to debunk it as fast as possible. But why try and debunk something that we can't actually physically debunk? We don't actually know the reasons why this is happening. The only reasons we can actually see it working is because the Annihilator has some sort of effect on the turn zombies. The turn zombies when they haven't got a head. So there's something there. There's some connection with this. Using the Annihilator against a turn zombie to turn them against themselves and they start a spark. There's got to be something there. I believe this turn zombie without the head has got to get a certain amount of kills and maybe something will happen. Like I say, it, I'm, I'm living on the side of positive here. I always try and be positive with these things. I don't want to be negative and stuff. I think that there is something more to the giant map. And after the new update with this cool thing happening, it is not a glitch because this takes some effort to do. You've actually got to get a weapon with the turned attachment on it 
shoot the zombies head off, then shoot them with the annihilator for them to spark. I don't believe that that is a glitch, especially considering it happens every single time that you try this. And one last thing to note as well, when using the annihilator on a turn zombie, if you don't shoot their head off, or sometimes if you do just shoot a few of their limbs off and they die later on, but as long as you shot them a few times with the annihilator before they die, they will pretty much 90% of the time spawn in a max ammo as well. So what relevance has this got to that? That's got to show some sort of like, I don't know, some tie-in. Look, there's that zombie running around there. Look, god damn it. You can't tell me that that's just a glitch. There's something going on there. And boom, he spawned a max ammo. And I'm going to play a few more clips of the other ones spawning max ammo as well. So here you go, guys. These guys spawn max ammos when they've been turned and shot with an annihilator. This is not a coincidence. This is not a glitch. This is happening for a reason, and I'm going to find the bottom of it. Gotta, gotta fucking work out what's going on in the giant. There's an easter egg in here somewhere, and we are going to find this. So, as always, guys, like this video, comment down below what you think. If you're new on my channel, please subscribe, and continue to dropkick your grandma.